India's daily coronavirus death toll has reached a record high, with 4,300 uh, pe people reported dead on Tuesday. Well, that's despite the number of new COVID-19 infections continuing to fall across the country. Around 260,000 cases were reported on Tuesday, down 30,000 from the previous day. Meanwhile, reports suggest India is not likely to resume major exports of vaccines until at least October. Well, let's get the latest now from Elizabeth Puranam. She joins us now from New Delhi. Uh, let's just talk us through the general situation here. What can we read into these latest figures being released by the government? Hello, Hala. We are not going to make too much of the exact numbers of the fact that India has recorded less than 300,000 cases for the past two days and it recorded less than 300,000 cases for the first time in a month on Sunday. But the overall trend is that the numbers are coming down and that there is less pressure on the healthcare system, on hospitals in the worst affected states. But these are still very high numbers, and that means that people are still dying from things like a lack of oxygen. Five people died in the district of Salem in the southern state of Tamil Nadu. Um, that's just so far this week. And so Prime Minister Narendra Modi has held a meeting with state leaders to discuss the situation in the country, the shortages of oxygen, how to um, put the systems in place, put the healthcare infrastructure in place in rural areas which are really, really struggling um, to deal with the virus. And also he said that they're going to, the central government is going to try to send in Increase the supply of vaccines being sent to states because there simply aren't enough doses in the country at the moment. And, and listen, in other developments, we're hearing uh, that India, which is one of the main producers of vaccine worldwide, will not be able to resume exports for several months now. What's behind this decision? Hala, that's not surprising. Again, that's because of the vaccine shortages at home. It was about two months ago that the Indian government decided to considerably slow down exports because they realised that they didn't have enough at home. And about a month ago, they halted them. India was the biggest contributor to the UN's COVAX program, which provides vaccines to low-income countries. And because it's had to stop that, low-income countries such as India's neighbours, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, many in Africa are scrambling to find alternate sources. But despite stopping the export, something like 66 million they either donated or sold before realising that they didn't have enough, even though they've stopped the exports, they still don't have enough. Vaccinations have fallen by 50% over the past month. And states have been left now to try and make deals with foreign vaccine uh, manufacturers. None have been able to so far because the government, even though it made everyone over the age of 18 eligible for a vaccine from the start of May, it hasn't ramped up production to meet that increase in demand when India has the capacity, it produces 60% of all the vaccines in the world. Okay, Elizabeth Puranam there, live from New Delhi. Thank you, Liz.